somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight I am super excited because we are taking a look at Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Boom. The first one was absolutely incredible. I loved finally seeing Daniel Craig as somebody other than James Bond. <laughs> I finally got out of my comfort zone a little bit. So that was a lot of fun and I can't wait. Well, I guess uh, Quinn is ready, willing, and able to continue this journey of DC being something other than Bond for once. <laughs> so the first one was great, great cast, and I guess they're going to have another good cast? Not only did we see him as something other than Bond, but talk about kind of this 180 going from a British spy to like this Kentucky Fried uh, gentleman, Kentucky fried gentleman. Kentucky fried gentleman. I don't Benjamin know. Blanc. The, uh, the, the the southern gentleman uh, detective, ultra detective, and uh, an amazing cast. Mm -hmm. uh, Daniel Craig, Don Johnson, uh, Chris Evans. I mean, Jamie Lee Curtis, star-studded cast. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, this one's got some heavy hitters as well. Yeah, I loved the first one. Benoit Blanc did phenomenal. <laughs> Uh, this one has Big Dave, as you already know, because you already seen it if you're watching this. Kate Hudson, another phenomenal mm -hmm. uh, actress in this. And there's plenty more, as you well know. So I'm going to shut up. Looking forward to it. Answer. <clears throat> Let's go. I was hoping for you to even do your thing. Yeah, I did. did I said he was ready, willing, and able. Let's go. She's great. Oh I can't God. take oh, her okay. seriously Thank after you. Step Brothers. <laughs> yeah. I saw it. It's James Hatfield from Metallica. That wasn't James. <clears throat> wasn't it? Mm -mm. Are you are you joking? No, it, that was yeah. not James. Well, just wait. He's it's from it my Oh my God, James. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> wow. That was close. Hey, yeah. I don't blame you, though. Quick glance. It's a quick <laughs> shot. <laughs> oh, like you knew, Oak. Your campaign is backed by billionaire philanthropist Miles Braun. Well, what can I do? You can tell him. I'll tell him no. no. Genius always looks like insanity at first, though, right? Isn't that how he became Miles Braun? You know what? You tell me. Genius or insanity. Uber for biospheres. AI and dogs equals discourse. <laughs> <laughs> He's asking us to put a volatile substance on a manned flight. This is science, not a religion. Because if your name is on this and it fails, it will sink you forever. Hmm. Hey, hey there she is. Hey. No. No phone. phones. And she's afraid that I will tweet an ethnic slur again. No, I was <laughs> thinking that was coming. What's this? I don't know, some the guy just dropped him. <gasps> All right, genius, what is this thing? Well, it's a Miles invitation. Well, oh, yeah, duh, James. but I mean, what is it? It's like a, it's just like a block of wood. Yeah. Okay, I, how do you open this thing? I wonder how they all know each other. What's yeah, where's yeah, what's the connection the here? The well, they miles for one, but hey, hey, hey there so it this is. has gotten some attention recently. So obviously, I would like to speak to this. And the answer is no, Jimmy Kimmel. I do not hate boobs. <laughs> boobs give us many useful things. Boobs give us milk, cheese, <laughs> breast <laughs> nourish our young until the age where we can go out and hunt for them. Boobs are fun. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right, babe? I love my boobs. They're so much fun. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, feminist. <laughs> it's got a... What are we... Dookie! I've been calling you. You gotta answer oh, me when I call. Oh. Talking supplements. Told you when me and Whiskey are live, you gotta let us do... Oh! <sighs> Sorry, it's just when we're live. What? Jeez, Mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Stereogram. What a gram? I can never do those. Mom, when I tell you about touching my stuff. Oh, oh wow. Oh, nice. oh, those are cool. Yeah, I could always just kid. instantly refocus my eyes to yeah. see those. Drop a comment below if uh how many times you got mad about it. Were you like the guy in Mall Rats? So it's it's set up for a, a made in one. Should I do it, Gasparov? And it's for North, so turn it due north. It's music. Guys, it's music. It's music. Are you mocking me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
No, it's a whole new thing. Yeah. Okay, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Quinn, that's Milton from The Walking Dead. With the, the who you call James Headfield. That's who it is. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It took me wow, yes. a little bit. It took me yeah. from the start, but I well, got it. Well, at least you knew you recognized him, Quinn. That's true. My beautiful disruptor is my closest <laughs> inner circle. Yes. We could all use a moment of normalcy, and so you are cordially invited. For a long weekend on my private island. Where we will celebrate the bonds that connect us. You will also be competing to solve the mystery. Of my murder. Wait, what? What? All right, so now this time it's more of a... Game more yeah, so more, than it is a yeah, like how we kind of said passing? the last one was like clue. So is this one just yeah? They're gonna bring everybody somewhere yeah. to play a game. <laughs> that that works too. That's I'm so glad she was smart enough to put on safety <laughs> goggles. <laughs> Block man 22. Hold on. Ah, <laughs> what is. just happened? I saw you go in the engine. The cream, Angela cream. <laughs> Angela Lansbury from Murder Land Shoot. Murder Shoot. Yeah. And then it's the, well, uh, the girl know. from American Pie. Cream yeah, but she, she's, a, she's in something, too, about a spar thing. What? Who's the gentleman? Yeah, Steve. Steve, something. Steve S. Worried about you, buddy. Lockdown hasn't been easy for any of us. Well, get that, would you? I think I'm happy going insane. <laughs> Any danger, the hunt, a challenge. Lock, there's someone here for you with a box. Intrigued. Oh. And that's right, how we, we open go. the movie. That's how it starts. I hope Metallica never watches this. <laughs> you get a hate <laughs> YouTube like James is I responding. Mean, Milton, well, it's because I saw him in something else, and I'm like, oh, is he doing acting now? For every reaction that we do from here on forward until the end of time, at some point in the movie, I'm going to say, is that the guy from Metallica? <laughs> or is that the guy from Kiss? Is that the guy from Poison? <laughs> <laughs> How's Big Dave gonna arrive? Oh, look at her mask <laughs> and all her luggage. Are you Benoit Blanc, the detective? In the flesh. Uh, I'm obviously familiar with you all as well. Extraordinary gathering. Oh, oh Big Dave. Oh, he's got to be. Disruptors have assembled. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in Greece, Mr. Blanc? I was invited by Miles Braun. Oh, I get it. The uh, murder mystery thing. Benoit Blanc is going to help solve the mystery of Miles' murder. This would be fun. Cute. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Somebody Ladies and did gentlemen. Hey! 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 What? What? Ethan Hawke's Ethan in Ethan Hawke. <laughs> is a two-hour journey. But first, I'm going to need you to remove your mask and extend your tongue. What? <laughs> oh! <laughs> In there. No pineapple in there, right? Duke don't dance with pineapple. No pineapple. <laughs> what is it? They didn't ask? No. No, they just took it. Eight years of doing these trips, you're the first new person he's ever invited. Oh, well, they've done it. I wonder before. how everybody else is tied into this this guy though. Yeah. What is that? Finally. Well, finally. Please. Somebody asks. You won't be needing that anymore. I won't. You're good. Oh, I wonder if they're all gonna like pass out in the next few minutes. Yeah. She reminds me of her mom in Overboard. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, with the, uh, the whole spray gimmick, obviously they came in mass, so I'm wondering if it has, you know, yeah. that's their tie-in with Probably. rain trying to... Because, yeah, it was kind of interesting. They said it was May 13th of 2020, so... Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Would be that time. She's not in your little gang. Was. She is. Andy <laughs> started Alpha with Miles 10 years ago, just a two of them. That's Cassandra Brand. But he still invited her to this weekend? Why did she show up? Okay, so a little bit of a, a little bit of anger Ooh. between her and the founder of whatever tech corporation. So, well, they founded it together. Yeah, like a, a Walter White. Oh, what matter. the hell? Sweet. Pisheshe. Oh, is that the name of the island in Greek? Pisheshe. Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of, oh Jesus! It took me a second. It clicked. Yep, it finally clicked. Edward. Serenading me with my song. On the guitar, Paul wrote it on. 
But look at your face. It was worth it. Oh, my <laughs> friend. My friend. <laughs> just drops it. Holy shit. Beatles, I'm guessing Paul. Beatles Paul, guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duke. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? I'm so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's interesting but, where his hand is with yeah. Big Dave standing there. Uh, <laughs> that used to be a thing. Did he Andy. not send her an invite? You're here. I am. When's the murder mystery start? <clears throat> I know you guys think I'm a hippie, but... Can we just take a second and fully abbreviate this moment together? I mean, <laughs> we're old friends. We're still friends. I just wanted to say that. I want to know how they're f how they're friends. I'm sure they'll get to it. Hey, bro. Not here. A proper tour of the Glass Onion. You got a flat tire there. Thank you. So she's observant. Yep. Yeah, they don't do anything <laughs> for no reason in these movies. Look, I sent everyone home. I just want to have a normal weekend with my old friends like the old days. Dong. That's the hourly dong. You know, I got Phil Glass to compose that. What? Stay, girl. <laughs> you know me, Miles. <laughs> oh, I, Miles and that girl must be dated. I really am glad you're here. Oh, oh hey. Hey, hey Mr. Blanc. Mm -hmm. Can we have a quick word? Mm, of course. That just had some Bond esque. It music. did. Oh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is, is that a motor car? Oh, come oh, yeah. on, That's DC, my baby. You know. It's one of a kind. Goes anywhere I go, all around the world. What are you doing here? Uh, you invited me. No, I didn't. You sent me a box. The wooden box was delivered to my home with some simple. Children's puzzles, which <laughs> <laughs> he's all offended. This is part of the game. Yeah. I didn't send it to you. Someone reset the box. Someone reset the box. Oh, they sent it to oh. you as a gag. Miles is doing a murder mystery. Let's invite Benoit freaking Locke. I'd love to have you visit me at my home. There, you've been invited. Well, you're an official guest now. Try to solve the murder mystery if you can. It's pretty next level. This is so like a Goldie Hawn. It is. Yep. It's totally right here. her mom from yep. Overboard. Oh, it's gonna be Dave's Oh, this girl. is kind of no. This the is kind bond. of like a Bond. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got the car have a hard the... kombucha. They're actually Wait. pretty good. You know, well, Jared it's Leto. It's cooler. Than the yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I am all... You remember that night you almost pancaked me with it on the road outside? Right? Anderson Cooper's birthday. <laughs> Coop's parties are memorable. Coop's. Really? That is quite a piece. Never without it. You never know when shit's gonna go down. <laughs> you have to tell him. I will. You, gotta, you just gotta go beg. Do it. I will take care of him. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, weird. So Big Dave's in an open relationship? <laughs> <laughs> I was the one on magazines. He was nobody. He said that to me. You're Birdie J on billboards. I can't believe I'm talking to you. I preferred that. Hmm. Something's afoot. Andy! Hi. She's been there the whole time. Wow. How long has it been since the trial? So a few months. The trial? <laughs> is, is that a is fax, that fax machine? machine? You know, I have one number. Goes to all my fax machines all over the world. Look, everybody. Look. This. <laughs> I think disruptors recognize each other. Disruptors? What does that mean? Seriously, you know about Sweetie Pants, right? I adore. Sweetie pants, I live in mine. You're I mean, sitting next to Birdie J. She was a fashion icon, and then the youngest editor ever of Shishi Magazine. And she comes out with designer, high quality, comfortable sweatpants just as a pandemic hits. She disrupted her own disruption. She made a killing. And look at Duke. You think people looked at him and saw anything other than the beef? You think they saw the first influencer to have a million followers on Twitch? Yes, I did. There it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> what we did with Alpha. Disrupt. If you want to shake things up, you start with something small. You break a norm or an idea or a convention, some little business model, but everybody gets excited because you're busting up something that everyone wanted broken in the first place. That's the infraction point. Ask, am I the kind of person who will keep going? Are you willing to break the thing that nobody wants you to break? People are not going to be on your side. They're going to call you crazy. Even your partner will say, you need to stop. Nobody wants you to break 
the system itself. And that is what unites all of us. We all got to that line and crossed it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Blanca, you're a detective, you. right? Yes. Randy, come on. Oh, Lionel. And we know who bankrolled Claire's campaign. Every single one of you is holding on for dear life to Miles Bryan's golden titties. And each of you, <laughs> you'll stab a friend in the back to hold on. Which is what happened to her. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm a truth teller. Some people can't handle it. It's a dangerous thing to mistake speaking without thought for speaking the truth. Oh, 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 oh. That's a good one. Wow, that was pretty Still good. Still didn't explain like good. how they go way back. I mean, obviously he's an it, investor. They're going to pull back the layers. Oh, I, I sure. know, but it's, I want... it's like it's an onion. They're going to peel back the layers. Something's off. Glass on. What do you mean? Whoa. She was stumbling. Changed. Something in the drink? Maybe. They made a point to show her with that drink. Bird showed me the statement that you wanted to make to the press about Bangladesh. And if you make her go through with it, her name is destroyed. <laughs> You got to get her to make that statement. It is her only way out. Only way out from what? Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. A lot of details. And then can you, the reveal is going to be huge on all this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, so Dave had no idea... Uh, All right, I take was, that back. He's not in an open relationship. No, he was totally oblivious. <laughs> My chemist. Mm, like a woman 16. Drink got us on the no-fly list at St. Bart's. <laughs> red <laughs> Solo Cup. <laughs> Jeez, he gives her a red solo Everybody's cup. her drink. Apologize, I don't know your drink, but you know, pick your poison. I'm hoping it's still whiskey soda. He's got Why the Mona would Lisa. You hang a framed print of the Mona Lisa front and center. It's, it's like a having a Che print. poster in your dorm room. Wait. That's impossible, Miles. Mm -hmm. Forgive my incredulity, but surely, no, the, the Mona Lisa, it's, that's property of the state. There's no way. France needed money, and so uh, I bought myself a little short-term loan. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I had a little override button installed. <laughs> oh. Where do you think it is? <laughs> you know Da Vinci invented a technique for brushstrokes that leave no lines? That's how you can look straight at her and her expression changes every time. Is she happy? Is she sad? Is it something else? Because like looking at the Steve changes. <laughs> yeah, 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 we, uh, yeah. I never looked at the background of it before. I want to be responsible for something that gets mentioned in the same breath as the Mona Lisa. Oh, it means immortality. He wants to do something. It's going to change. Wait a minute, Miles. Why do you have the Mona Lisa in your living room? Thank you. <laughs> I've invited world leaders and members of the press from all over to come to this island. I'm going to unveil the future. Don't drop it. Oh, my God. That's a new solid hydrogen fuel. Zero carbon emissions, and it's derived from abundant seawater. I call it CLEAR with a K. CLEAR America, our affordable home power solution, is going to be powering people's dreams. Her reaction to that was, I told you I need two years minimum to test this stuff to see if it's safe. Claire and I are not going to be responsible for putting something out in the world before it is tested. Oh, yeah, because she's... She's in the government, in so she politics, has to. Uh, yeah. yeah, she has to say yay or nay. You, you're running this entire place off this, all of it, the heating and the cooling, everything, right down to my fax machine. This is reckless, and you're gonna get somebody killed. Love you. Come on, let's let's eat. Uh, <laughs> keep pouring it on. Mm -hmm. Well, they've given motive to several people. Yeah. In this very room, a murder will be committed. But if anyone can name the killer, tell me how they achieved the murder, what was the motive? That person wins our game. What do we win? What do you, what do you want? I, I just thought maybe there was a prize or something. <laughs> <laughs> An iPad or something. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, no, no, the winner gets an iPad. I don't actually need an iPad. This will take the whole weekend. You know, this is truly delightful. Have we started already? Is it? Well, the murder hasn't happened. <laughs> yeah, why not? As God, Watson like said to Holmes, it was Brody, to play. who planted a remote device on a crossbow. Look at the seat arrangement. Oh, he saw it. Triangulates it triangulates Birdie just perfectly with that thing. But Mr. Braun, 
vintage Jayhawk brand crossbow. Jayhawk, Birdie J. It's a hedgerow in the South Garden. That spells a letter B. <laughs> <laughs> he did solve it. <laughs> On the cleverly planted 1998 issue of the Face magazine, she famously wore what became known as the <laughs> Rams oh, Diamond. Uh, the large pendulous locket, which is uh, <laughs> not so left so your so neck. <laughs> Would you kindly open it for us? Dude just literally ruined the whole... There it is. <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, this crime clashed with the presence of Ben Marblon. <laughs> <laughs> You're angry. That was not the simplest thing. I hired Jillian Flynn to write the whole thing. Oh, she's quite good. She's goddamn expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Truth is, I, I, I ruined your game on purpose. You've taken seven people, each of whom has a real life reason to wish you harm, gathered them together on a remote island, and placed the idea of your murder in their heads. It's like putting a loaded gun on the table and turning off the lights. With Lionel, threaten to destroy his reputation if he does not play along and power man rocket with clear. No, it's clear, too. You threaten to support her opponent in the up-and-coming election. She does not approve your power plant. Bangladesh. Sweetie pants are manufactured there in a sweatshop. You're making Bertie take the fall to cover your ass as the main investor. Duke? Well, <laughs> we all know why Duke wants to kill you. <laughs> he doesn't know about that. Uh, yeah. Yes, he does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that look. Oh, this is the famous napkin. How's our local bar? They tore it down the year after that. Mm -hmm. oh, so fast. Uh, I was hoping they would zoom yeah. in on the picture. I was looking at all the... Oh. It's all just fake smiles and agendas. Wanting what they think they're owed. Hating you when you don't give it to them because that's what you're there for. God damn, I miss that bar. <sighs> Look at his hair. He can never go back. Listen. My Google alerts. Got for all you guys, whiskey, sports, I like general interest. Well, I'm out of here. Tomorrow Jesus. morning, go. Or we can get drunk and enjoy paradise for the weekend. Are we even going to talk about the elephant in the room? Am I the elephant? Yeah, you're the elephant. <laughs> so we are all holding on to that golden tooth. You lost. I'm tired of pretending like you're the victim in this game. You're the loser. There. That's the truth. Oh. <laughs> there she is. There's Andy. I know. <laughs> See, that's all it took. They still didn't give us nothing. <laughs> I mean, tidbits, but. Where's Andy? Yeah, where is he? There it is. There's my guy. What's going on? You look like you got good news. The views on my channel are off the charts. You got to see this. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, he recorded it. It's fire. It Change things, right? That sure does. We could talk alpha news. You bet your ass, come here. Oh, uh, never mind, I not. thought. Guys, have I ever let Why you do down? Why keep showing that? Somebody's gonna be involved with that thing. Crime, murder, or is the crime gonna be the theft of the Mona Lisa? Something's gonna happen here. Yeah. I think Ed Norton's gonna get taken out for real. We're all changing the, the world. That's the third time. All of us. Yeah. Birdie, that's amazing. Just, just watch yeah. this dress. Oh, she just handed Big Dave he just handed Big Dave a drink after Dave showed him something on his phone. Miles. On your feet, he, genius. I, I want to see your... Miles, Duke. Poisoned. <laughs> what was in there? Well, he was drinking Miles out of Miles' glass. So somebody was going to take him out. But they got Big Dave instead. Oh, come on! <laughs> no, no, not Duke. Come on. Is he choking? I think, yeah. I think oh, no, he's not choking. He gone. Uh, I'm afraid Mr. Cody is, is dead. What happened? Did he, <laughs> did he choke? What happened? There was no obstruction in his airways. What would you call your boat and have him come immediately? Oh By the way, you tell him we need medical personnel and please. Okay, yeah. Are, are you treating this as a crime scene then? Oh my god. Uh, duh. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, why not? Yeah, she can't be there. <laughs> <laughs> You're not saying it was done with intention, are you? Well, we don't know. My guess is something was put in his drink. Yep. I did see him bump into uh 
Catherine Hahn's character. Like yeah, they I mean, bumped into each right other before he sat down on the couch. But it was Miles' drink that Piece he was having. <laughs> piece of shite. There is no other landing point, and it isn't buoyant. It is a piece of shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend it everyone. Yes, he was intended for him. Mm -hmm. He picked up mine. <laughs> I'm keeping you all in plain sight until that boat arrives. Where's Duke's phone? Forget about his phone. Look. Oh, oh it's missing. We need to find Andy. Andy? Oh, no. no. Miles, no. Down. We were going to be having drinks, and I thought it'd be fun to say something dramatic just at 10 o'clock. The lights are going to go out. The lights are going to yeah. go out. What happens at 10 o'clock? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm here. Where's my phone? It has a flashlight. Calm down. Do not panic. It was Andy. She killed Duke. Whoa, she's got the spear Whoa. gun. I like how they got the light from the lighthouse coming in. and Yeah. And now they're all Flashing looking at each other. Oh, you see that nobody's going to be staying there. Yeah. Andy. Andy. I like how they're trying to make it look like it's Andy. Yeah. But it's definitely not. Well, she's got the most motive. Who's that? So uh, far. Detective Quinn over here. Well, we, they all have motive. Uh, they all have motive except for whiskey. Oh, look at all oh, those. All one's missing. The one's missing. God, I can't not I cannot not see Bond when he's in a suit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> why could I take Duke's gun? And why the lights out? Dead. What? Oh, somebody's got it. Oh boy. What about the the, yeah, the hippie? What about the hippie dude that was walking around on the beach the whole time? Yeah. One last piece of information, but only you can. Ooh. There it they is. Got her. Got her. Well, now we know it's not her. Yep. Told you. Detective Quinn. <laughs> they knew everybody would be out of the room. They're going to steal the Mona Lisa. It's, like it's got to be about the Mona Lisa. <laughs> it's time to finish this. It makes no sense. It all makes perfect sense. Ethan Hawke's character? Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is this Benoit Blanc's residence? I really need to speak with him. It's urgent. <laughs> well, uh, why don't we start at the beginning? My name is Helen Brand, and I came all the way here from Alabama. Oh, she's faking it. She's lying. Mr. Blanc, two days ago, I received a call. My twin sister committed suicide. Oh. oh. She dressed up like her sister. And Blanc was in on it. The engine running. My sister was Cassandra Brand. Impressive woman, your sister. I get the call and I fly in. This was yesterday. And then I, I go to Andy's house. I'm cleaning it out. It's a mess. All of her books everywhere. And I'm just thinking about what was taken from my sister. Here, a knock at the door and it's some courier with this thing. Andy didn't commit suicide. She sent this at 4 p.m. the day she was murdered, four days ago. I finally found it. It's right here. And I'm going to use it to burn his whole empire down. I'm giving you all one last chance to make things right. Are you looking at those email addresses? Yeah, yeah it's like me. Birdie yeah. and them. Because I saw the first one was Birdie. Dude, it's Birdie. Her screams are being no, so no, fake. No, look, They're it's all, all of them. There. It's all of them, yeah. all of them. I searched every inch of every room in her house, and guess what wasn't there? The red envelope. You want to hire me to go to that island? I've not seen your sister's death in the news. Did, did you release a statement? That's why they were so shocked she showed up. Oh, yeah. She's... Yeah. Andy was supposed to be passed away before this. Yep. I'm proposing that you come with me to that island. Oh, no. I don't think they knew that she was well, gone. The, well, the they knew that she... Look, here's what... Ha everybody there knew that she was supposed to be 86. They got the email... Somebody was hired to take her out. And then that's she why made when, it anyways. That's why when she showed up, everybody was so surprised. Mm. Like, wait, what? Oh, presence on that island yep. is the essential catalyst. They know she's not dead. They know she's not you gone. You showing up, playing your sister, 
when they don't know your sister is dead. Okay. But you could still be right, Oak, where they were in on her getting taken But the out. one that, that helped her yes. like, with what happened would look at her twice. Yes. You need a drink. Oh, no, I don't drink. I'll have some coffee. I think the last thing she needs right now is caffeine. Hey, did that, you start no, studying them? Because remember, the whiskey and yeah. soda was her drink. Yep. Yeah. what... The sister is what is what uh, what's his face said. You to hang there together. You go. Here's your and Miles you know. was leader of the pack. They were all friends Dave with, with Andy. <laughs> <laughs> but Andy his saw their too. potentials. She found them all. It's Miles. Hey, nice to meet well, you. Look Miles. at that outfit. You know, I wanna I wanna be responsible for something that gets talked about in the same breath as the Mona Lisa. What does that even mean? It just means immortality. You see for goals. Let's we'll see what happens. Hey, Tim. And things started happening. He got Birdie a show for a design. It did well. Got Lionel published. Duke set up at Twitch. Claire <laughs> yeah. elected locally. And oh, then the that's what you know, the note at. on the napkin yeah. that he had. And it's just like he talked about small stuff you start with and you break up small stuff. Andy and Miles created Alpha. It blows up. They bring everyone along for the ride. Cut to two years ago, Miles meets some sketchy Norwegian scientists at an ayahuasca ceremony in Peru who sells him on this whole <laughs> new hydrogen fuel. No. This is it. This could blow up the world. <laughs> Her whole case was based on oh, intellectual God. ownership of the company's founding idea. Her idea on the napkin. Which she didn't keep. He had an idea? Oh, and they all lied oh. for him. Who wrote this down? Yeah, Miles. Miles. Miles suddenly found the napkin written in his handwriting. Jeez. That lamp was she just found like the napkin. This stuff. Yep, there it is. And that's what was in the letter. That's when she wrote the email. Yep, yep. that was the letter. And that was yep. the letter. Boom, there it is. Who's was strong enough to go one step further and commit murder? Everyone's whereabouts on the Still night of the birdie. Death. So they played it just right. They got their setup, pretend to not know each other, yep. which now it makes sense why she was always so damn nervous mm -hmm. around these people. Oh, uh, so that's why yeah, she's... That, all that makes sense now. Now, look, I suspect when we're all settling in, Brown's going to pull me aside to explain my presence. That is your chance to snoop. Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the whole time I was thinking she was being observant. Yeah. <laughs> it was for chatter. Hey, was the was the wound top shoulder wound? Or no, you know what? They said she was gone, so never mind. Well, you couldn't even see where it was. Yeah. I think it's really shitty what they all did to you. I read your court transcripts and you got shanked. Duke just treats me like arm candy and they just ignore me. Why do you put up with Duke? With Duke? I'm building my brand. You signed off on the power plant. Yep. I did it too. Signed off on putting clear in a manned mission. Pray that Andy was wrong about this clear stuff. No, nah, she was right. Put its gas form into household piping. Hydrogen gas? It could literally turn people's homes into the Hindenburg? I was the one in magazines. He was nobody. I preferred that. Andy! Hi! <laughs> You're really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you didn't drink. You give me that Jared Leto's hard kombucha. <laughs> Nine percent alcohol. So get off that. <laughs> get off that. Even your partner will say, "You need to stop." And that oh, you got to leave with courage. That's nice. why. Okay, yeah. all of us. Wait. <laughs> Can we talk about the email? You didn't even write back. I'm a politician. That's why I called. Your phone was off. I went to your house. Lionel and I got there at the same time. After an hour, we left. What time did you get there? I don't know. It was dark. None of them did it. <laughs> <laughs> he almost got in an accident on his motorcycle. He was driving so fast. And he almost got pancaked. I could be really wrong, but I don't think they took out Andy. Yeah, this makes me feel like uh, like they didn't. Yeah. This case confounds me. It just confounds me. We don't Tarina's have a motive. It's like looking. <laughs> So, so either you two what? want to do a session or what? Yeah, no, no, not right now. All right, it's your money, not mine. <laughs> She's <laughs> really were, I was like, I thought it was like Just some like poster, pre yeah. no, like a pre-recorded yeah. interactive workout thing. All his machines. That's right, all of them. They all go to the one number. Mm -hmm. Do what you gotta do. Push that son of a bitch. Just get an answer out of him. 
So do this for me one last time. Okay? Oh, he was in on it. To try to get an answer for Miles. Yep. Ugh. Yep. So, so she was using Miles yep. for him there, right, right yeah. here. And then at the meeting, or at just before the drinks, that's what he was asking him. Yep. Oh. Just put him on Alpha News, baby. Just a late Alpha night Alpha News. I am building the future of news. He is my that's loyal why he got friend, emotional. but I can't put him on Alpha yep. News. Uh, yep. yep. That's why he got mad. What did Miles mean? This is her only chance. I am going to sign the statement. We will do what we always do. Deny, half apologize, and then go silent a while. I will handle this. <laughs> every time. That's my story. Works. Yep. Miss J, I am writing to inform you that the proposed Bangladesh factory is notoriously one of the world's biggest sweatshops. Please advise. You replied, sounds perfect, thanks. <laughs> With your memoji dabbing. Oh, uh, goodness. Wow, wow. Miles is going to pay me off. 30 million. They all needed phone? Miles. No. Yeah. Can I have my secret phone back? <laughs> no. Whoever killed your sister took that envelope to protect Miles. They brought it here. They'll have to hide it in that room. You need to keep your head clear and stay sharp. I want the truth. Pick a fight to and lose. Oh, so when she leaves, nobody... So he's still got his piece there. Wait, is she really even gone? Yeah, searching right now? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, is she, like, in the movie, did she really get taken out? Because I don't know. Edward was... Norton had the fake blood earlier. Yeah, that's a good point. He had the fake blood. That's a possibility. What the hell? Oh... Oh, oh now one of is out. Uh, uh, a harpoon? Yep. Andy? Oh, no. Whiskey, is the party over? He didn't deserve this. Yes, he did. Okay, I don't feel sorry for him, and you are better off without him. Oh, she doesn't know yet. <laughs> oh, she and thinks... So she thinks it whoa, was her. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, Jeez. And why are the lights Duke out? Duke is dead. Yeah. There's one more room to search. It's in the glass onion. No, we only need one last piece of information, and only you can. Has to be right here. I guess not. Darn it. No, and if not, <laughs> what is he wait. seeing? What is he seeing? He's he he's emotional. <gasps> oh, oh yes! Oh, oh no, the, the book. book. Wow. Or her diary. But if they think she's gone, because remember they dropped the gun right away and took off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I was half right. Yeah, yeah half I was half, right. was half, half right. right. If they think she's gone, then she can do what she's got to do. He had the, the pad. Yep. No, the hot or, sauce. Oh, the hot sauce. <laughs> from from uh, May he have, half half right. May he have a speedy right. recovery, too, by the way. Absolutely. You have to find that envelope. I will. This will be good. Oh, oh, right so, in the eyes! Oh, oh, oh to make him cry, because oh, remember he cried? Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shit balls! <laughs> Shit balls! <laughs> oh, oh it's going to go into it's her gonna eye. It's going to go on. Oh. oh, right up her nostril. And she's now laying. Now they're gone. Just in time. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's when she said oh, shit oh, balls. <laughs> It's going to be in the no I, that, That's a her original a one right there the whole time. He took it out of the envelope and then or framed it. Or it's behind it. It hides oh, it, it not right. behind complexity, but behind mind numbing obvious clarity. It's the backing. Yep, look, that's, the red. That's yep. the envelope. What it teased my brain through this entire case. <laughs> well, it's, just, it's just going on. on. <laughs> ingredient <laughs> not a real word it, it kind of sounds like one but it's just entirely made up <laughs> now, reclamation now oh okay. all the stuff that was bothering him yeah <laughs> <Every> definite detective <laughs> took my glass that's what you told us he did Brady, do that again yeah, watch this and after you yeah. said those words that's what we all remember seeing but think look at that dress spin Brady, that's amazing just just oh he hands it to him <gasps> Blanc, are you telling us Miles killed Duke? Yes. When Duke got to Andy's house early on his motorcycle... He saw him? Oh, 
and you almost got pancaked. Was almost yep. struck by him. You remember that night you almost pancaked me with it on the roadhouse side of Andy? Anderson Cooper's birthday. Oh, how did we oh, miss that? Anderson Cooper's Anderson, birthday. Anderson, Andy, yeah. yeah. Oh, holy so, shit! What is reality? <laughs> <laughs> Who did the envelope trick? Miles Braun. Lionel faxed Andy's email to Miles, who received it in New York. The one thing that could destroy his empire of lies, so Miles drives his baby blue Porsche. That he takes everywhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, she was clever enough not to fear Miles. Duke alone knew you were there that night, but he didn't know Andy was dead. No, no, he didn't know that until this evening, in which he showed to you. He didn't need to hide the death. He just needed to hide that Duke had shown him the death. Right out yep. in the open, Duke showed him. Yep. It changes things, right? Pineapple, pineapple juice. juice. No pineapple in there, right? Oh, that's it's right. Earlier. It's allergic. It's a so he died from... Died of an impaired suicide. She survived by her sister, Helen. You told me about Helen, your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Helen Brand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's like putting a loaded gun on the table and turning <laughs> off the lights. Uh -huh. And then you he gave him the idea. idea. Yep, because yep. he's such a brain dimwitted brain. Jackass! <laughs> <laughs> and you stole the whole idea from me. You still kept the envelope. Uh, you didn't burn it or anything? <laughs> nope. Just he, didn't, he didn't he didn't think of it yeah. that's what it that's what it looked like how could you ever prove that that's the original glass onion glass onion yeah oh what the hell did he do he just burned it someone making toast this will not stand this proof this smoking napkin blanc wow we got some big accusations flying around here and in the real world you need more than a neat little detective story you need evidence and you've got the recorder nothing. she's got the recorder she's got the recorder nobody's stepping up wow she might not have it no i don't that's been done before so many times in movies i don't think they would go that route with this it's no, been this too, too clever smart. it's yeah. been too clever I saw the napkin before he burned it. We, we didn't. You're still holding on to his titties. I need you to do something. I gave you the truth. There's nothing I can do. God, I'm, I can't think of it's, how this ends. I'm just, no, I'm just trying to picture an ending. I just. And a reminder of why your sister walked away in the first place. What did he give her? He just gave her something. What did he give her? Is it the uh That's the little thing that remember make sure you catch it. Yeah, oh, the, the yeah. hydrogen. The hi yeah, the yep. Or the clear. Yeah, the clear. The clear. <laughs> That's why they kept showing the Mona Lisa opening and closing. Yeah, for She's the noise. She's gonna roast the Mona Lisa. Took it a loan from the French government. <laughs> 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 I don't think. I don't. Hey! <laughs> Mazel toss! <laughs> Remember what no, uh, she's... Catherine Hahn was saying? Oh, the whole With house the... is yeah. powered by clear. Yeah. yeah, powered by clear. So when. Yep. It's like a hydrogen uh, BOM. Yep. Okay, stop. Helen. Walk away. They just paid too much attention to the Mona Lisa earlier to, yeah. to not involve that. That's nice. got to be. Yeah. Yeah, there's the clear. Because remember, he caught it way yep. earlier yep. and he held on to it. Now it's in the HVAC. <laughs> wow. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not sure I'd want to be inside there when that happened, but. Oh, oh there goes there's the car. This will destroy the, the Mona. Yeah. Well, that if and, it keeps going up. And it's going to show that clear doesn't work at all. Yep. So it destroys him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Gets a hand on it. Gets a hand on it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> clearly miss. <laughs> Everything now is gone when that opens. Yep. yep. Oh. 
So that's a unique twist, right? Where he, the crime's oh. not going to be on him, but she it, just his destroyed whole empire everything. doesn't work. It's gone. Yeah, it's everything's a farce. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> You think you pop me like a gangster? <laughs> no! <laughs> Your feel of the future just barbecued. The world's most famous painting, you dumbass. Congratulations on the public launch of Clear. You're ruined. And you did get your wish to forever be remembered in the same breath. Oh wow! So I didn't even good. think of that because ah, oh, that's nice. He's gonna be the one that destroyed he's it. The one that yep. burned it. We know what happened. Am I right? I clearly saw him grab Duke's gun. I saw him driving away from Andy's house the night she was killed. You shit heads. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready to go home. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> well, guys, that was the Glass Onion, and it did not disappoint at all. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Uh, you know, it's like, where do you begin? First off, what a cast of characters that we had. I mean, Kate Hudson basically being her mom, Goldie Hawn, from Overboard, which was just incredible to see. Everybody did such a good job. You know, it, Dave Bautista is the perfect like deadpan actor it's it, great it's just and i don't know if it necessarily like they find the roles for him and they're like hey we got to get dave batista in here to do the thing that he does because it's so outstanding so so great seeing dave and there. daniel craig once again just demolished this just so good i mean what more can you say and then on top of it of course an amazing story with awesome effects it kept us guessing the whole time i uh, you know you know when you look back on it in hindsight it's kind of obvious that it's edward norton's character right like who who has the the most to lose mm -hmm. well obviously he'd be behind everything so you know but that was really well done and i love how they drop all the little hints in there to keep you guessing keep you thinking so when you go back and they do the reveal you're like oh yeah i totally missed that and it was right out in front of me so that was really good the one thing I'm so happy they did is I love the way they ended it by not doing the voice recorder trick that we've seen in so many movies that's been done so many times because that could have been an easy out, but we knew that the gang behind this movie was way too clever for that, way too smart. That's that's it didn't stuff. It didn't show right away that we. <laughs> no. I mean, we kept thinking voice recorder, but that's what I was thinking. Yeah, <laughs> but then you know, the more it played out, you're like, nah, they're not gonna do that. That's such a kind of a cop out that's been done so many times before. So that was good. I love seeing Edward Norton as a villain. To me, he's so good at it. He can just he can be just that that smarmy villain that you just want to punch. So. He's outstanding as always, and it's been a while since I've seen him and everything. And honestly, uh, you know, Kate Hudson, I haven't seen her in anything for a while. And aside from Daniel Craig, many of the other actors, you know, obviously Dave Batista, uh, but I really haven't seen him in much. So it was really good to see him in this. This was a lot of fun. Definitely, definitely worth a rewatch. And again, guys, what do we always say when we're rating movies, right? Where can I nitpick? Where can I find faults? And I realize it's right after it, but. I, I think it was better than the first, and I gave the first a five, so I'm going to have to give The Glass Onion a five as well, because I, I cannot find any fault with it. It was it was perfectly done. Uh, for me, it was, it was Ryan Johnson, the writer and director of this, who just did an amazing job, as always, just like getting the little nuances, introducing, like peeling back the layers, so to speak, as it was that. Also, Janelle Monet, if I'm saying that name right, she was the one that was, you know, that played the two different characters. She went from the Southern Southern Belle Cylindra all the way to being from Alabama to then straight lace and like perfect, you know, Andy. And the, the rich bitch, which was great. And then, uh, but so that was just amazing. Then, real quick, the one guy that we saw in the when they're doing the zoom meeting that he couldn't remember it was um steven sodheim so he actually just passed away in 2021 so this was his last role oh, wow that he ever did he didn't do much acting he was really in he was in the music department 
for like movies as I saw, like Dick Tracy, West Side Story, okay. and all that good stuff. So that was pretty neat to actually get him in there with Angela Lansbury and then yeah. Natasha and then Kareem. <laughs> and so that was a lot of fun. Now, I still think the first one was better. So unlike you, I think the first one was better. It was a lot more fun, especially the second time around watching it. But because this like did it, like a lot of that background, like where it went back in time where the other one just you know, kind of fluttered with it, but still Ryan Johnson is an amazing director, writer, and I can't wait to see the third one. So I'm gonna give this one though a four seven five How out of five answers. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I thought this movie was fantastic. I loved the way they did it where you know, they start off and they, they give you, you know, the boxes. Okay, this is very intriguing. Then they tell a story. They go back a little bit mm -hmm. and you find out that um, that it's the sister, Helen, with Benoit Blanc that's kind of setting this whole thing up. And then we go back to the island and then we see the other things that were going on during what we were previously watching. So we watched that time frame all happen. And then it was going back and seeing her sneaking around. Yeah, and that was cool. You didn't really notice her absence. And, you know, it was interesting because it was like we just kept asking over and over, like, man, what, what, what are these people's backgrounds? What are, you know, why are they so mad at her? Why, why is she even come if it's going to be this <laughs> awkward? So it was, it was a lot of really cool stories. Um, it was interesting when she first showed up looking back on it now like i, I almost want to re-watch it now knowing that when she comes to the island edward norton knows right away that it's the sister yeah right like mm -hmm. he knows right away the second she gets to the island it's the sister yeah. and so he's like he had to be plotting and, and scheming right away and so they did they did such a great job with that uh casting in this is as oh, perfect oh, as gosh. I think you're going to get. I mean, obviously, Benoit Blanc, uh, you know, you're bringing him back from the previous one. But, and, and you know, with the murder mystery, I don't know how they would have brought the original uh, the original cast back. Well, you're um, not gonna do that. Yeah, it's more about him. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but for them to bring in this cast and to have, uh, you know, as, as, as great of a fit as it was for each one of the actors, you know, you try to, sometimes when you watch a movie, you try to think like, man, who else could have done this role? And, yeah. you know, Batista seems perfect. <laughs> Edward Norton seems perfect. Um, the fact that um, the French government Peanuts. gave him a loan <laughs> and the collateral was the Mona Lisa, the most famous painting of all time, you knew something well, was going to happen. the Louvre was uh, going through rough times. Yeah, you, <laughs> knew, you knew something was going to happen yeah. with that, right? They just, and, and we've said this in movies before, anything that could be a background piece or it could have just been a joke. Yeah, I've got so much money, I uh, got the Mona Lisa. And then they go back, but they kept yeah. back, back. And then Show close it. shots up and down. It's like, okay, something's going to happen with this. And of course, they gave that to you. Mason Gwynn bring up, brought up a really good point. You know, they showed the recorder over and over and over. And so, like, you think, like, of course it's going to be the recorder. She had it over and over and over. That's what and they then wanted you to think. That's what they yeah. wanted yeah. you to think. But you are right. For as brilliant as this writing was, maybe it would have been a little bit a little bit amateur hour. So I thought the writing was phenomenal. The acting was great. Of course, Daniel Craig absolutely kills it as Benoit Blanc. And there's, there's something to be said about you know, seeing him as James Bond and then just this gigantic shift in his mannerisms and stuff. I did like the way they gave this whole, they gave this whole movie kind of a James Bond feel though. Yeah, yeah the they bowl, did. International. The music, they just did. the yeah. international, international, the big house and stuff like that. So <laughs> the villain layer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought this, uh, I thought this, this was movie the glass onion. was yeah. fantastic. And you know, and I, and I talk about this kind of the movies last thing I'll say, you know, we watch movies on this channel where it's like, you know, I sit here and preach lessons and all oh, this is what I took from this movie. And, and for as much as I like that, sometimes, you know, this one made you think, but it's nice to just sit back, enjoy Relax. a movie. Yeah, there wasn't really uh, lessons here other than maybe don't screw over the wrong people. Take the <laughs> ride. Half around and find out. Uh, I'm with Mason Quinn on this. This was a five answer movie for me. I loved it. Yeah, for me, um, I want to kind of start off with the, uh, you know, I probably should have took better notes here because I, mean, I just jotted down stuff. Well, so so, sometimes, and, well, sometimes with these, it's hard to take notes yeah. because you want to pay yeah, attention. Yeah, yeah. It is. So, like, in the beginning with uh, Janelle Monae's uh, character, Helen, right? Helen, Helen and Andy. Slash so, Helen, I thought it was a very unique way that everyone was playing around with the boxes and just, like, trying to be curious and how, what's going on? How does this work? Uh, where she... Just, just said, F it. It. I'm going to grab a hammer. <laughs> just, the whole point was the card, the invite, right? So yep. she 
broke the box with a hammer. I thought that was very unique that she didn't go through the process because they were well, showing. You know, because well, it was because it was Helen. It wasn't Andy doing it. Right. Yes. So that's why I'm. Yeah, Helen was doing it. Yes. That's uh, why. That's because she wouldn't have known how to do the games. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. no, no you got a question. I, I was just gonna say, why did Cassandra get a box if Edward Norton took her out? Why did she ever come into possession of one? So I want to say there might have been something in there where we must have uh, missed. Uh, must have missed. We, must have, we, we probably did miss no, it. No, I, I bet you oh, to cover his tracks. To cover his tracks. He's going to still send her one. Yeah. Oh, so that's, the other, to cover okay. his that's the other uh, scenario where it was to cover because yeah, he didn't sense. know. Yeah. Because there was no news yet. Yeah. Um, but again, I thought that was uh, a, a brilliant way to break up uh, that, how everyone was doing it. At the end of the game right there, it was just about getting the invite, which was the card. Um, the other thing was, uh, I'm going to talk about the ending. I'm going to kind of bounce around here. That ending, I love how we didn't get the court system, you know, or with Benoit Blanc mm -hmm. getting the guy. He actually lost one with the truth, but lost overall with the criminal. Yep. But then, you know, hey, he basically gave her that uh, the, the clear or the clean, and then yep. boom, that's how they burned him. Clear with a K, yeah. Clear with yeah. the K, and that's how they that's how they ended that. To get him was to end him through that. I thought that was pretty genius yeah. too, because we're always used to seeing for the majority of we got the bad guy, he's locked away. Obviously, now with that, you could probably play that ending out however you want at the end because of the fire and all that yep, jazz. All the, Maybe there's the an investigation. Coming. Yeah. But the way they gave us the ending there, I thought that was great. Um, and then. Some of this, uh, the when Benoit, what we thought Benoit solved it right away, it was just. <laughs> I thought that was genius. Right. Yeah. Oh, the the, the game. Yeah, the, the game game? started. Oh, yeah, the wow. that and was everything. that yeah. was brilliant. Dude, really do we awesome. win a prize? Well, because that's why he wanted like, a prize. Takes him like two minutes to figure well, it, it was, out. You know, you know what I really loved about that part is like as soon as he started going into it, I'm like, okay. He's gonna have his theories and whatever, but you saw Edward Norton's face. face, face. You were like, holy, <laughs> shit, holy cow, he just solved it. Yep. Like, for real. So I, I wonder in, you know, uh, in Miles' head there, was it like a really supposed to be a whole weekend thing of him taking out Big Dave and then this whole, like, did he have more plot to it? Or was it just, you know, mm. I don't know because Benoit Blanc threw in a wrench for his whole thing. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think Helen showing up probably it, might have twisted some stuff well, there, no, made him have to think on his feet. Or was it no? It was it remember, supposed to be Batista's a celebration? Finally, got, it was supposed yeah. to be because remember, all four of them lied in court for Edward Norton's yep. character. Now the the fifth box he had made. Look, if he whoever you know, it was obviously very intricate. So whoever he had making them had to be like, hey, I need one for each one of my friends because. Had he just not made one, it yeah, would have been like, hey, suspicious. The other yeah. One? Yeah. So they all just lied for him in court. He mm -hmm. gave them all the money she needed. The girl yep. was the the um, the uh, the uh, you know um, Goldie Hawn's daughter. God, wow, Kate Hudson. Uh, yeah. She was gonna lie about the um, about she was gonna take the, the sweatshop. Yep. yep. The governor was sweatpants. gonna pants. <laughs> sweatpants, right? That's where they made the governor them, right? was gonna they approve the, knew the, the the governor was gonna approve the the, the energy. <laughs> yep. Um, the one thing that wasn't gonna happen is uh, Dave Batista's character wasn't gonna get the show. Yep. Um, and then Miles said he approved the takeoff, so Dave Batista's character wasn't gonna get it. But, you know, everybody else just lied for him. And then uh, Andy was never supposed to show up. So mm -hmm. I think originally, and Benoit Blanc, of course, was never supposed to show up. Yeah. So originally, like, I think it was probably supposed to be a party. And he had that murder mystery set up and they were all going to hang out. And uh, and then and, all this happened. And, yeah. and then all this happened. So now I really want to go because the, yeah. the Benoit <laughs> Blanc showing up with... Oh, oh yeah. I just yes. thought about I just thought about Andy showing up. Imagine like you know what you, you took out her sister, and the sister shows up with the best detective yeah. in the world. In the world, <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, Google's like, where it's oh. not his. Yeah, so that's Google's what I mean. Words. Like, it, was yeah. it supposed to be a celebration? Then all this unfolded. It, and then, I think it was yeah, supposed, it was supposed to, be. to be a celebration of hey, we got rid of her. Everything is safe. Everything we want is going to happen. Now. Well, yeah. well, they don't know she. Got, yeah, they, they didn't know. They didn't know she, she was. Rid of her. They didn't well, know. Got no, rid of her. Know, but, it got rid of her in the regards like they lied in court. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what he was going to celebrate. And obviously, he knew what he did. So then later on. All the loose ends are tied. Yeah, just talking it over again. I, I, 
I want to. I'm this. The first movie was a must watch couple times just to yeah. catch everything. I feel like this one, just for the tiny little things that we just talked about, and maybe there's one or two, maybe a handful of things that we tiny little things we missed again, which hopefully you guys let us know in the comments. But I, oh, I want to watch this again. Yeah. Definitely want to watch this again because of all the stuff that we just chatted about. And now knowing what we know, just to kind of catch. All right. And that's what I wanted to come in <laughs> in here. The first place was to catch every damn word in the pool with the Andy thing. Because when yep. I was editing your guys' knives out, the the one word in there that uh, uh, was it Chris Evans said? Oh, I can't remember. There was something that was said and then... Um, just because of how so much going on here. There was something that was said in Knives Out. It was didn't come back until the end when they were doing the big reveal. I'm like, oh, okay. So when we watch this, I got to pay attention, pay attention. <laughs> for the verbiage that's going to come out. Yeah. And we missed it anyway. And uh, either way, fantastic. Uh, really enjoyed it. My score isn't going to be as high as theirs, but it's still solid. 4.2. Really, really good flick. Uh yeah, I mean, in this cast, star studded. Loved oh, uh, seeing Kathy, yep. Kate. Kate, I always love in anything because she's just hilarious. Yep. Uh, Craig definitely had his moments of where it was Bond like. And then, of yeah. course, our guy, Big Dave, Ed Norton. All This whole cast is phenomenal. Yeah, there was a couple of looks that Daniel Craig gave us that looked very bondage. And then some of that music, too. They were, yeah. Well, because they, they made it nice and international, and that's where it gave yeah. that feel for it. Mm -hmm. um, when did they film this? Because were they legit doing this during the whole. Lockdown. There's a good chance. I mean, it's 2022 right now. Well, like I said, that the 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 person that was in the Zoom meeting that passed away, uh, Stephen Sudham, he passed away in 2021. Okay. So I just gonna, wanted to give them credit for pulling this off during all that crazy. Yeah. If, if indeed, they did have to work around everything. We heard about all the stuff that Tom yeah, Cruise had to go through with like Mission Impossible and Top Gun. And just shout out to them for pulling this off, uh, if it was indeed going on during that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Go ahead. Well, Dave. we could you, we could sit here and try and search for it, or you could let us know in the yeah. comments as well. <laughs> the yeah. Ethan Hawk, the Ethan, Ethan Hawk, Hawk like cameo. spray in the mouth thing. Yeah. That was your. This is why nobody's wearing masks anymore. Yeah. yeah. On the island, that was that because I was like, okay, are they gonna fall asleep on the boat and they show up someplace? We yeah. don't know how we got there or whatever. And that's like, wow, that was right here. oddly. Uh, an interesting yeah. thing. Um, Summer of twenty one. <clears throat> yeah, so I think okay. that was kind of there. Like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna show them with the masks, but how can we get to um, them feel, feeling comfortable yeah. without that? So <laughs> but of course, let us the, the, the first uh, little bit of trivia I read is uh, Ryan Johnson had stated that he briefly considered a running joke of having Daniel Craig have a different accent for every <laughs> different <laughs> for every <laughs> different film without any explanation at all, but ultimately oh, decided that against it. But that would have been yeah. freaking great. That would have been hilarious. Unbelievable. Yeah, so, it, well, that was pretty cool. That was awesome. Really yeah. great location there. I mean, piece yeah. of shit. Piece of shit. <laughs> piece of shit. It's primarily filmed in Greece, but uh, Serbia. Serbia, Serbia too. Yeah. Nice. God, those were some <laughs> great views. So, hey, <laughs> great guys, views. I guess I, I, I can speak for everyone saying we can't wait for the third one. Is the third one greenlit? The, it should. Oh, were they afraid they didn't make enough money? It, it freaking <laughs> better be. I hope so, so. So for all of us wanting it, that includes Diamond Dave, Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.